Hi. Um, okay, so I wanted to do this welcome video for you. Um, first, I have to say that I am so excited that you're going to be joining my challenge group. Um, really, this has helped me stay accountable on my fitness journey. Um, I check in daily with the group. Uh, people share their meals and meal plans, so you'll get lots of recipe ideas. And we actually do it in something called My Challenge Tracker app. So it's an app that you can download in the App Store or on, uh, so for iPhone or Android. And if you want a little tutorial, you can look on YouTube and just Google Beachbody Challenge Tracker app and a little tutorial will come up to show you how to use the app. Um, so essentially you would have gotten an email from me with an invite code inviting you to the challenge group. And in this challenge group, I want you to post daily. The more you post, the more accountable you're going to hold yourself. So I want you to, it's non-negotiable, I want you to log your workout every day um, and log your Shakeology. And when you're setting up the app, it is very user-friendly. So you need to take your measurements. Um, I can't drill this in enough. There are some people where the scale might not move that much, but you could lose five to 10 inches. Um, so get your measurements done and take before pictures. Nobody likes to do it. I didn't like to do it when I started, but now I look back at those pictures and like it's super motivating. So take your before pictures. I know it's not fun. Take them, post them there and post your goal in the app. I want to know and let me see it. Make it no, um like make it open so your coach myself can see it. Um, no one else will be able to, just me and you. Um, but I want you to write out where your goal is. If it's to fit in an old pair of jeans or if it's to get um, to lose 15 pounds or 30 pounds or 60 pounds, um, let me know what your goal is so I can help you reach it. Um, the So we have measurements, before and after pictures. Um, write down your goals. You are more likely to um, achieve your goals. You're 80% more likely to achieve your goals if you write them down. So I want you to write them down. I want you to write them down in the app. I want you to write them down on a little post-it note and put it um, in your bathroom so you see it every morning when you wake up. Because really your workouts, like this is a lifestyle change and this needs to be non-negotiable for you. If you make it a priority, you will find time in your day. At first, you might not love it. I didn't love working out in the beginning, but then you start to crave it and your body really enjoys it and your mindset will change. So you need to get these workouts in if you want results. Um, so the other thing too, once you finish your program, you um, can submit your results. You can submit your before and after pictures to the Beachbody Challenge Contest and you'll get a free t-shirt for whatever program it is that you completed. Um, water intake. Okay, so the rule of thumb is I want you drinking half of your body weight in ounces. So um, just take your body weight, divide it by two, and however many ounces that is, that's how much water you're going to drink each day. Um, it will be hard in the beginning if you're not used to drinking water. Uh, you'll be running to the bathroom a lot, but you got to make it happen because your body needs that fluid. And the other thing I want you doing is the second you get out of bed, so before you brush your teeth, before you shower, uh, before you come downstairs and have your coffee, I want you to drink two cups of water. Um, I don't get a lot of sleep and my coffee is like my go-to thing in the morning and I'm not allowed to have my coffee unless I drink my two cups of water. So it will help speed up your metabolism. It'll flush out any toxins. It will actually um, give you a lot more energy for the first hour and a half of your day. Um, so definitely do that every morning. Um, coffee, if you're a coffee drinker, I am sad to say that you cannot have cream um, and there is no sugar happening in your coffee. Um, so you're going to, starting on this journey, you're going to be doing, um, you're going to be eating clean, whole foods, and that does not involve sugar. So you're not going to be eating really any added sugar. So for your coffees, um, you can use stevia. Stevia isn't an artificial sweetener. It's actually an herb, and I, I grow it in my herb garden every summer. 
and it's super sweet. You can just eat the leaves, but you can buy stevia for your coffee and you can, um, you can use skim milk, but um, it does have more calories than the nut milk. So my preference by a long shot is unsweetened cashew milk. It has to be unsweetened. Um, so you can get the vanilla flavor or you can just get the plain. Um, it's the creamiest out of the almond milk and rice milk and uh, coconut milk. And it's so good. Um, so that's what you're going to be putting in your coffee. If you're a latte drinker, if you like your Starbucks, let me tell you, you need to blend your coffee with some coconut oil. So if you have a Ninja or a Magic Bullet, brew your coffee, um, put your hot coffee in your blender cup, add a teaspoon of coconut oil, um, you can put your splash of milk, and um, I either sprinkle some pumpkin pie spice or a tiny drop of caramel extract and a teaspoon of stevia. And I blend it for five to 10 seconds and you are gonna have a frothy latte and you will be in heaven. So it definitely replaces your Starbucks. Starbucks is a no-go while you're doing the clean eating. It's way too much sugar. So let me know if you try the, the latte, it is so good. Um, meal planning. Guys, you need to meal plan. In the beginning, when I first started, it took me like three hours to do my first meal plan. I was super intimidated. I felt like I was trying to build a puzzle. Um, so when you open up your challenge pack and you're looking through everything, you got to read your start here guide, whatever program you're doing, you have to figure out your um, caloric need. So you're going to have a calculation in your book that's going to tell you what plan you should be following. Um, it may seem like you need to eat a lot of food, but it is like that for a reason. Your body needs that fuel. Um, so you, a lot of people think like, well, well, I'm not going to eat in this plan. I'm actually going to eat in the plan below it because I want to lose weight faster. It doesn't work like that. The plans are developed by nutritionists. And if you drop brackets when your body doesn't need to drop brackets, you're actually going to hold on to your weight because your body needs that extra energy. So it's gonna hold on to the fat and it's gonna eat away your muscles. So eat in the proper caloric bracket. If you're a nursing mama, the most important thing is to maintain your milk supply. So if it says you need to eat in plan one, I need you to bump up to the next plan um, to make sure you're getting enough calories to maintain your milk supply. And honestly, you're still gonna see results. I'm still eating on a meal plan higher than what um, I'm supposed to because I am still nursing. So um, make sure you do that. And you need to get all your containers in each day. So if you have the portion fix containers, your lovely color coded, color -coded um, containers, you got to be eating all of them. Okay. Um, if you find like it's too much, you can try doing things like blending some spinach in with your smoothies or add some fruit in with your smoothies um, to get all your veggies in. Um, but meal planning, I need you to meal plan from Monday to Friday, at least. I don't meal plan on the weekends because the family's usually home and we just kind of eat whatever is left over in the fridge. Um, but you need to meal plan. If you want to be successful with this and you want to stay on track and you want to get results, I was going to say, I was going to swear there. If you want to get results, you need to follow your meal plan. Um, for me, I keep all of my breakfast the same. So every morning I have my oatmeal, my turkey bacon, my fruit, and my coffee um, every single morning from Monday to Friday. I keep my snacks the same through the week. So my Shakeology, I keep the same. And then my afternoon snack will be the same. And then at dinner, I try to make um, enough to have leftovers for lunch. Um, that is kind of my rule of thumb. In the beginning, keep it simple. Um, don't try to make dishes that you got to figure out the measurements or do crock pot meals where you're not sure um, how many reds there is in it or how many yellow containers. Um, keep it simple the first week. You can hop on Pinterest if you find a couple things that you like, like if you like spaghetti squash. Um, just keep it simple or you're going to overwhelm yourself in the beginning. Um, and you really want to make sure you're eating the right amount of containers and everything because nutrition really is 70% of it. So if you're not following the plan that's set in place there for a reason, your results are not going to be what they could be. Um, 
before you start, you need to empty out your cupboards. So I want you to go through your cupboards and ditch the junk food. Um, if you have cookies in there, if you have chips in there, um, for me, I can't, I can't keep chips in the house. Um, my husband had chips in here the other day and I made him hide them because I have no willpower when it comes to chips. They are my ultimate weakness. So, um, I can't, I don't buy them. Um, I can't have them in the house. So, um, literally if it means sending it to work with your hubby or giving it to your neighbors or giving it to your mom or whoever, get the food out of your house. Because when you have a craving, if it's not there, you can't eat it. Um, and you're less likely to cheat then when you're trying to follow your meal plan. Um, grocery shopping. So obviously you're going to have a list because you're going to have a meal plan. And when you grocery shop, you're typically now going to stick to the perimeter of the store. So all the whole foods are generally around the perimeter of the store and the processed foods are in the middle. Um, you want to, so if you look at the ingredients, so for example, things like barbecue sauce, um, stir fry sauces, marinades, things like that, they are a no-go. Um, they have lots of added sugar to them. And when you look at the ingredient list, the ingredient lists are going to be really long because they're processed. Um, so things like, uh, and this will say this in your book, in your start here guide and your nutritional guide, um, balsamic vinegar, mustard, apple cider vinegar, white vinegar, um, those, all of those are all freebies. So you can use those as much as you want. Um, I use balsamic vinegar on my salads all the time. And I use Frank's Red Hot on everything. Um, you put it on your eggs, your meat, your rice, anything and everything. Um, if you like spice, definitely, um, get some Frank's Red Hot. We get it at Costco. So um, if you are grocery shopping or if you have something at home and you don't know if it's 21 day fix approved or if it's good for your meal plan, you can snap a picture of the ingredients and post them in the challenge group. So you can tag me and I will have a look and let you know what I think. Um, if you see, if you look at the ingredients and you see uh, anything with sugar, in the ingredients, not in the nutritional label, but in the ingredients, it's it's a no. Um, clean eating, so no added sugar. Um, I say not in the nutritional label because, for example, if I buy the organic pasta sauce at Costco, and it shows that there's, um, I think, two or three grams of sugar in it, but that's just naturally occurring sugar from the tomatoes. When you look at the ingredient list, there's actually no added sugar in it. So, um Definitely, guys, the group is there for you to ask questions. And chances are, if you have the question, somebody else probably has the question too. So there's no such thing as a stupid question. So post in the group, post every day in the group to hold yourself accountable. Um, the last thing I want to talk to you about. So you got your meal plan ready. You went and you got your groceries. I generally do that. I do my meal plan on Saturdays. And I do, or hubby usually does groceries on Sunday mornings and I start my meal prep. So this will also get easier. You'll get in a groove of things, but get your veggies cut up for the week. You can hard boil some eggs. Um, I cook my meat. I'll do a big pan of chicken or fish. Um, I always have a pot of brown rice, excuse me, cooked in the fridge or a pot of quinoa. Um, I have a, I cook a big batch of steel cut oats and I actually add vanilla and cinnamon into my water when I cook my oats, it's so good. And I store that in a Tupperware container in my fridge. So every morning when I get up, I just scoop out with my yellow container from my oats, um, steel cut. Please get steel cut, it's so much better than rolled, rolled oats, it's not mushy. Um, I scoop out my steel cut oats, put them in my bowl, add a splash of cashew milk, um, pop it in the microwave and my oats are done. Um, so definitely meal prep. Take an hour or two out of your day. I know a lot of people say that they don't have time for meal prep, but it's actually completely the opposite. Um, if I didn't meal prep, I wouldn't have time through my week to cook a meal every night. I mean, I'm busy. I have two kids. You guys are busy too. You might have kids. Or you're working full time. Like, Make it easy on yourself and make it hard for you 
to not follow your meal plan. So do your meal plan, get your meal prep in, and then that way when it's time to eat, you literally just go in the fridge and your food is already there. Um, if you have any questions about meal prep, definitely just post in the group or send me a message. Um, I just have some notes here. I think the last thing I wanted to mention, so when you get your challenge pack, you will have been signed up for um, Shakeology Home Direct. And what this is, um, it basically means that 30 days after you get your challenge pack, 30 days after the day of purchase, another bag of Shakeology will be shipped to you and your credit card will be charged, the one that you purchased your challenge pack with. So if you, um, if you are on Shakeology and you fall in love with Shakeology, let me know because you can definitely sign up for a discount. Um, it's like uh, you, you would have a Beachbody membership and you would get a discount on Shakeology and you would save money. So if Shakeology is something that you wanna continue with or if you think you wanna get other Beachbody programs, reach out to me and let me know so I can let you know about the discount. Um, if you decide you get Shakeology and um, you don't want it after the 30 days, then you need to call um, Beachbody Customer Service before your 30 day mark, before you get charged and cancel. You just let them know, I wanna cancel my Shakeology Home Direct. And the customer service number is 1-800-470-7800. Um, so please make sure you call if you decide um, before the 30 days that you don't want to continue with it. Um, if you are unsure um, or you don't need another bag yet, then give them a call. Give customer service a call because you can just delay your shipment. Um, I would definitely, if you're unsure, I would definitely recommend delaying your shipment instead of canceling only because... Um, when you keep it on home direct, even though you delay it, when you get your next bag, you save like $12 in shipping for one bag. So um, you can just give them a call. You can delay it a couple months, I think, three to six months if you want. If you find you don't need it yet um, or you're unsure, give customer service a call um, so you don't get charged. And the second thing, when you got your challenge pack, you also would have gotten a free month of Beachbody On Demand. Um, Beachbody On Demand is amazing. There are hundreds of workout programs and meal plans, um, nutritional guides on there for you. Um, Insanity, P90X, Turbo Fire, Shailene Johnson, um, Shailene Extreme is on there as well. So um, definitely check it out. Take advantage of your free 30-day um, trial because it is um, super beneficial. And you can also stream your workouts on Beachbody On Demand. So you just go to your teambeachbody.com and log in and then click Beachbody On Demand and you will be able to see any purchase programs you have there as well. So if you're traveling, if you're in a hotel room or if your kids want to watch TV, you can pull up your workout on your phone or on your iPad or computer. Um, so you get a free trial for 30 days. And on day 31, if you um, want to continue with it, you would be charged. Um, and it is $40, but that gives you access to Beachbody On Demand for the next three months. So it works out to $13.50 a month. Um, and you could try, I mean, there's, I think, 15 different programs. The full programs um, are on there that you can try. So if you don't want it, you do need to give... Beachbody customer service a call and make sure you cancel your Beachbody on demand. Again, the number is 1-800-470-7870. Okay, I think I went over everything. Um, like I said in the beginning, guys, I am so excited for you to start this journey and I'm so glad you decided to join me. Um, I'm super um, grateful that I get to help you out and I can't wait to watch your transformation. Um, just, I really want you to post or at least log your workout each day in the app. Let me see that you're working for it. Um, I know what is possible with this because I did my own fitness journey on these programs and I know that if you follow the meal plan and if you do the workouts and you put in the effort and you push yourself, 
you are going to get amazing results. So um, here we go. If you have any questions, ask away in the group, guys. Um, post. We'll all keep each other accountable and motivated. And one thing I want to say too, if you're having an off day or if you're at the office and um, people are eating jujubes or there's candy and you're like feeling the need, you're like, oh my God, all I want to do is stuff my face. Post in the group. Be like, guys, the person next to me is eating jujubes. Like, what do I do? Give me some ideas or, and we're all going to be like, you can do it. Don't do it. Uh, go for a walk. Go chug some water. Like, we will be there for you. So that is what the best part is about at the challenge group. So thank you so much for joining us. I look forward to seeing you in the app and I look forward to watching your journey and your transformation.